We all want to do good for the planet. That's why Hitachi supports all our efforts. Like Mr. Rossi from Italy, who will be able to use ticketless transportation that's both convenient and low in emissions. Oggi prenderò questa strada. And we make it easier for Ms. Chang from Singapore to invest in green projects through a digital platform that lets her accurately assess environmental impact. I want to support. Together, the choices we make will be a force in changing the future. Through digital and green technologies, Hitachi is committed to creating a sustainable society one step at a time. Turning your good intentions into good for the earth. Hitachi Social Innovation is powering good. Good morning, everyone. I'm Keishi Kojima. Thank you so much for joining us at Hitachi Social Innovation Forum Japan today. Hitachi has been focusing on its social innovation business, which utilizes data and technology to solve social problems together with our customers. Throughout our social innovation business, we aim to achieve three things simultaneously, a healthy global environment, people's happiness and wellness, and economic growth. As you all know, the birth rate is declining rapidly in Japan. In fact, Japan's total population has been declining year by year since 2011. Under such circumstances, a sense of resignation that economic growth in Japan is no longer possible or probable, this sense of resignation is spreading throughout our society. However, I believe that by enhancing Japan's ability to innovate, we can still achieve growth. Today, I would like to talk about the theme of Hitachi's vision for the future of innovation. Now, first of all, I would like to explore with all of you about how innovation is born. Now, do you know who these two gentlemen are? Yes. Exactly 120 years ago, the Wright brothers were the very first men to successfully complete a manned flight. I would like to take a look back at the innovation of these two gentlemen, which greatly contributed to the progress of humanity. When the Wright brothers were children, they were fascinated by a toy helicopter their father gave them, and they dreamed of flying in the skies. As they grew, they continued to pursue their dream of flight while running a bicycle shop. The death of German researcher of flight, Lillian Thaw, in an accident that led to their stronger resolve and determination to make the development of the airplane a success. So the first thing that they did was to collect a large amount of literature on past flight attempts and experiments. And they gained a wealth of knowledge about airplanes. Although they actually made various gliders based on that information, they failed to fly because basically of the lack of lift. So they built a wind tunnel, which is a device 
that sends air. They repeated the experiments using more than 200 different types of wing models. Based on the result of this research, they were developing various systems and mechanisms such as the one for maintaining the balance of gliders. After that, they have attempted to fly more than 1,000 times. Their aircraft has been continuously improved. And in 1903, the Wright brothers accomplished the world's first successful manned powered flight with the Wright Flyer, a glider with an engine attached. The great innovation of the Wright brothers' airplane began with their strong desire to fly. And then they used the wisdom of the predecessors from the vast amount of information found in literature. They took action to acquire new wisdom. They repeated scientific experiments and deepened their wisdom. All that led to the final success of flight. As this example shows, I believe innovation is born from the multiplication of three types of wisdom, starting with human will, and action, then information, and scientific pursuits. So these three types of wisdom is the source of innovation. Thanks to the Wright brothers' invention of airplane, we can now travel around the world much more easily and faster than before. So we have new encounters among people. We expand our experience. And there will be the birth of new will, in turn that leads to further innovation. We humans have made progress by connecting our wills to a series or chain of innovation. The social innovation that Hitachi is aiming for begins with a strong will to achieve powering will, powering good, the wonderful good things that people around the world aspire to. action, information, and science are the three factors that are needed. Key technology that will support the next generation of action, information, and science to, to realize this are already here with us. We believe that there are biotechnology, generative AI, and quantum computers. By utilizing biotechnology, we'll be able to extend our healthy lifespans and we all become more active. By utilizing generative AI, it becomes possible to obtain useful information effectively and instantly from a large amount of literature. And using quantum computers, we can further deepen our understanding of physical phenomena and obtain new scientific knowledge in a shorter period of time thanks to the simulation made possible by quantum computer. Hitachi will leverage these next generation key technologies to support customers' innovation with solutions that combine IT, OT, and products. Now from here onward, I would like to focus on generative AI, which is rapidly being practiced or used. I'm pretty sure many of you who are here today are already using generative AI. I believe that the essence of generative AI is that it models our language-based intelligence. In other words, 
it is very important to have the ability to perform general intellectual work related to language, such as summarizing text, translating, proposing ideas, and so on. Generative AI is built on a large-scale language model, a neural network called LLM, which has learned a large amount of knowledge. A key technology in this learning process is Transformer, introduced by Google in 2017. The Transformer converts a huge number of words into multi-dimensional vectors and then repeatedly, repeatedly predicts word series. This makes it possible to quickly understand and learn word associations and context. In machine learning, conventionally, there has been a tendency for performance to decline as the scale of the model increases to a certain extent. On the other hand, with generative AI, when the scale of the language model exceeds a certain number of parameters, say several hundred billion, the number of intellectual ta tasks performed or the accuracy increased dramatically. As a result, generative AI, such as the well-known OpenAI's ChatGPT, which presumably has over one trillion parameters, is rapidly reaching a practical, usable level. This has made it possible to quickly and appropriately present new ideas or options even in the response to a question or instruction that do not have clear answers. By using generative AI, we will be able to utilize overwhelmingly, overwhelming amounts of information in an intuitive manner. It not only powerfully assists human intellectual work, but also sheds light on information that has previously been unknown and therefore could not be utilized. In that sense, I believe that the advent of generative AI is truly a breakthrough that will have a huge impact as big as dividing the IT history between BC and AD. Generative AI with this power will enhance our ability to generate innovation by strongly assisting the three elements that I have talked about, action, information, and science. And faster than ever before, we will be able to resolve problems and create new solutions, even in difficult situations. Hitachi aims to bring about the full potential of companies effectively utilizing generative AI. Your company, just like us, Hitachi, has accumulated a wealth of organizational wisdom built and passed down by your predecessors. Technologies developed through research and development, various lessons from the successes and failures of new businesses, and the craftsmanship passed down at manufacturing sites. The wisdom of these various organizations is the true strength of our Japanese companies. However, I think that in many cases, this knowledge is not fully utilized because it's dispersed throughout the company or it is often the form of tacit knowledge of engineers. By effectively utilizing generative AI, we'll be able to draw out the full potential of companies 
in the future, I think that each company will develop generative AI unique to each company. AI that brings together its strengths. At Hitachi, we hope to use generative AI to help our customers further expand their strengths. Through this effort, we will contribute to accelerating innovation and realizing sustainable economic growth here in Japan. How will companies use generative AI to advance their business in the future? We have created a video imagining a future project, so please take a look at this video. ここはアジアのとある町。急速に都市開発が進むこの町では、交通渋滞や環境問題が喫緊の課題となっています。I want to run another railway line through the city, so residents can move around freely, where they want and when they want. 鉄道会社に勤める彼はこの町で生まれ育ちました。新たな鉄道路線の導入に挑戦するプロジェクトはこのような人々の熱意が原動力となり指導しましたどんな鉄道だったら人々のためになるのかそんな彼らの議論に寄り添うのが地域情報や乗客ニーズの知見を持つ
そこには必ず人の心を動かす意思や行動が必要になりますその力こそが社会や地域の課題を解決するためのさまざまなイノベーションを起こす原動力となっていくのです。Okay, what did you think? You saw a person with a will initiate an action and interact with different stakeholders. To responsibly promote the business. During that process, generative AI was used. Decisions are accelerated and more accurately made thanks to the richness of inherent information the organization has. Hitachi works on many co creation projects with customers with goals of expanding their capabilities to create innovation through combined use of Hitachi's IT, OT, and Here's a case with our customer, Sekisui Chemical Company Limited. Recent technical innovations have been accelerating introduction of new advanced products in different verticals. Sekisui Chemical also started to receive a lot of requests from their customers for shorter lead time and more advanced materials. Being aware of this situation, some developers of Sekisui had a sense of crisis. They are afraid that there would be no future for the company unless they can survive this change. This awareness led them to a strong will to fulfill customers' needs. They voluntarily tackled with the challenge to develop new advanced materials driven by their own will. In no time, this wave spread over the entire company. Sexy Chemical is now fully leveraging data and digital technology in their material informatics, or MI, effort. For new material development. MI, material informatics, requires high volume of experimental data. For Sekisui Chemical, however, it was difficult to collect and centrally manage data. It was because some experimental data had been kept in a form of paper. Or, if digitized, it was still kept in each person's file systems. Recognizing this problem from the conversation at this co creation facility of Sekisui, Sekisui and Hitachi launched a project. Let me share with you today a couple of research themes from this co creation effort. The first theme is To use AI to gather internal and external experimental data and automatically organize test data. Such a foundation of data makes it easy to use data. The th second theme is to create a digital space of pseudo environment to conduct testing using data obtained. This is in fact a digital twin, but we also pursue agility. When these two themes are realized in business, it would be possible to drastically improve efficiency in collection and analysis of experimental data. Then the researchers will be able to focus more on even more advanced material development. By ideating new potential materials or observing the prototype carefully. It will also be possible to unleash the latent capability of the organization by sharing the data which has not been effectively utilized. Same rule applies to advanced knowledge, advanced know hows of seasoned employees in a form of data. I am sure that Sekisui will be able to spend more energy on development of highly advanced materials. 
Hitachi's group companies such as Global Logic, which is、uh, good at such development, and Hitachi High Tech, which deals with analytical devices, are working together to make this possible. Hitachi Group is making a united effort to back this initiative. Innovations of materials will directly activate the whole industries. As you see in this example, Hitachi wishes to support Japanese companies to create innovations. And ultimately, we'd like to contribute to sustainable economic growth. So far, I have discussed about Hitachi's initiatives in this new era of AI. We intend to use AI to help organizations be more innovative. And will ultimately contribute to sustainable economic growth. But of course, there are a lot of challenges waiting to be resolved. Securing trust in AI, copyright protection, and importance of ethical consideration are some of the examples that you must be conscious of already. Also important is how to address. Ever growing energy consumption. AI spends a vast amount of data processing power at data centers, which requires a large amount of electric power. By 2030, Domestic data center power consumption is said to be six times bigger than 2010, according to one forecast. Without any rectification, penetration of AI may cause a jump of environmental burden against the initial intention. To avoid that, it is essential for the entire society to promote more effective use of renewable energy. Depco, PowerGrid, and Hitachi have developed new energy management technology that would step up the utilization of renewable energy at the data center further. As a company to support social infrastructure, Hitachi's focus is not just about the bright future that AI can bring us. We are also determined to tackle with the challenges of AI, such as high energy consumption. Now, I have been speaking about our aim to support sustainable growth of the society and to support innovations as enablers of the growth. This is, by the way, exactly the founding spirit that has been handed down in our organization. s Next January is the 150th anniversary of the birth of Hitachi's founder, Odaira Namihei. After founding the company in 1910, the first product he developed was this five horsepower motor. Back then, in Japan, most of the industrial machineries were imported. Odaira had a strong will. To develop domestic technology and machineries for the sake of the country's growth. His will became a driving force for his actions to bring about five horsepower motor and other innovations that followed. When we just started our business, one of the most important challenges. Was how to stabilize the quality of products. Odaira thought that quality issues must not be addressed symptomatically. Identifying the root cause of the problem, or in other words, scientific exploration, was at most importance for him. So, he decided to start and lead a research team within the quality control department. This is the origin of Hitachi's research institutes that are participated by more than 2,000 people around the world. 
Also, Hitachi was the first company that published an industrial engineering magazine. Through this Hitachi Hyoron magazine, Odaira shared their research results so that their, their, their research result can be processed by the society as useful information. Will, actions, information, and science support Hitachi's innovation. And this notion was formed by our founder Odaira in early years and has been inherited in our DNA up to this day. At present, Hitachi has a strong will to power good. By multiplying this strong will by actions, information, and science, we want to create innovations ourselves and at the same time support customers' innovations. By doing so, we strongly wish to contribute to the realization of sustainable economic growth. The society is going to face drastic transformation by emergence of generative AI. At overwhelming velocity, AI will process a huge amount of information and offer us a variety of ideas. This alone, however, cannot make innovations. We should never forget that the true driving force for innovation is nothing but the will and actions of human beings who wish to make the society better, and such desire stems from various life experiences and new encounters with people. Later, please stop by at the booth of your interest and please do speak to Hitachi employees. I am sure that you will be able to find a clue for innovations that can break through different businesses. The will and actions you will find them will be the unique power of human that AI can never imitate. Hitachi wants to join forces with our customers and contribute to development of better society. Please join us and carve out our new future together. Thank you very much for your attention.